Today, we're going to explore a fundamental concept of escape velocity that's crucial for satellite. Now, before we jump into our space simulation, let's break down the basics. Escape velocity is the minimum speed an object needs to break free from the gravitational pull of a celestial body. It's like the get out of gravity's grip speed. The formula for calculating escape velocity has come from this equation. Escape velocity v is equal to under root g m upon r. By putting the value of Earth's mass and geostationary orbit's distance 32,786 kilometers, we get 3 kilometer per second. Now, let's apply this in our space simulation. I've got my trusty Saturn V rocket here, and we're going to set it on a mission to reach a geostationary orbit around Earth. You can see the orbit is set successfully. The Saturn V was a rocket NASA built to send people to the moon. It was the most powerful rocket that had ever flown successfully. It was used in the Apollo program in the 1960s and 1970s. As per simulation settings, it set the orbit with the suitable speed accordingly, which is 3.34 km per second. By just increasing the speed up to 5 km per second which is just above the escape velocity. Our rocket's orbit becomes more elliptical, and it might eventually escape Earth's gravity altogether. On the flip side, if we lower the speed below 3 km per second, our rocket's fate is sealed. It's going to come crashing back down to Earth in a fiery spectacle. Not something you'd want to happen during a real mission, right? At the speed of light obviously it escaped the solar system. These geostationary satellites revolve in the same direction the Earth rotates west to east. These satellites complete one orbit in about 24 hours, which is the same amount of time it takes for the Earth to rotate once on its axis. Let's decrease the speed and crash into Earth. This is the NICE Escape Velocity Calculator. I put its link in description box. Let's calculate for largest planet Jupiter. We can see Jupiter has around 50 km per second. Now let's just verify into our simulation. Jupiter is a massive gas giant, and its escape velocity is quite high from Earth's. Now let's just add that Saturn V rocket again. We add just few kilometer above the surface. We can see that simulation giving default speed 40 kilometer per second which is correct in this height. This is the orbit which it created. But here's the interesting part. If we were to decrease the speed even slightly, our satellite would start to fall towards Jupiter. If we increase the speed, 
our satellite's orbit would get wider and more elliptical. It would venture further from Jupiter. Before going to end this video let's crashing our rocket onto the Jupiter as it coming closer to Jupiter, its velocity increasing exponentially. Can't believe, it damaging the largest planet? If you have any new idea to experiment on simulation comment down below, I'll create.